Welcome back to another interseason episode of Thriving Thoughts. I'm Dr. Sherry, and I want you to know it's not too late. Have you been guilty of believing it's too late? Too late to learn something, too late to grow, too late to achieve your dreams, too late to dream new dreams, too late to be fulfilled, too late to make amends, too late to love again, too late to forgive yourself, too late to be forgiven, too late to believe you matter, too late to believe you are worthy, too late to to be loved, or too late to love yourself? I once met a young woman who had come to believe that it, quote unquote, was too late for her. She had struggled most of her life with emotional instability that had spilled over into her relationships, her finances, almost every area of her life. She believed many of the voices in her head from parents, significant others, her children even, that she would never get it right, that she was a failure. She had been seeking psychiatric care and subsequently rode that all too often heard of roller coaster of medication with additions, adjustments, and eliminations occurring almost monthly. Nothing she tried seemed to give her the hope and stability for which she was so desperate. But there was a whisper inside of her, a whisper of truth, that told her this wasn't right. This wasn't the way life was supposed to be. She believed she had tried everything and was so close to resigning to it being too late for her, until she decided to give of all things, therapy, a try. The day she ended up on the couch across from me, after sharing her story, which was rife with disappointment, devoid of fulfillment, absent love, and running out of hope, she said, well, my psychiatrist told me I would always be this way. Do you believe her? Is what I asked. Well, yeah, she's the expert. My heart was pierced that day as I studied this successful, by society standards, she held on a great job. She was successful, but she was this unfulfilled woman who was on the verge of believing it was too late for her, that this was as good as it got, that she would have to settle for a life of frustration, disappointment, and failure. And there was nothing she could do about it. That somehow she was inherently flawed. And all of this mediocrity and less than satisfying life was her fault. But there she was on the couch across from me with this soul nudging disbelief, no matter how small, that she didn't have to accept that. A tiny piece of her was hanging on to the hope that her life could be different. She didn't say that, but there she was. She decided it wasn't too late to try something new. Just one more thing. She had scheduled an appointment with a complete stranger, and she showed up. You see, without a word, she told me all I needed to know. She had a glimmer of hope that it wasn't too late. And I was gifted with an opportunity to remind her of what she believed about herself. The truth of herself that had become all but buried under the weight of her disillusionment and hopelessness. Do you see yourself in that young woman, even if you're 50, 60, or 70 years young? Maybe you're the one who was told she would never be good enough. Maybe you're the woman who believes she just can't get it right. Maybe repeated relationship failures have left you thinking, this is what the rest of my life will be. This is what I deserve. 
I'll ask you what I asked her. Do you believe this is what the rest of your life will be? I'm going to ask that again, and I want you to really listen to the question. Do you believe this is what the rest of your life will be? You see, there's no expert, no book, no opinion that dictates how the rest of your life will go. There are many sources, of course, that will tell you it's too late for you. But it's up to you whether or not to first listen and second, whether or not you believe it. Past failures do not ensure future failure. Your past heartache does not guarantee your future heartache. Broken dreams don't eliminate the birth of new dreams. Maybe you haven't believed you're worthy, lovable, or that you hold a sacred space on this earth that matters. But what you have believed does not have to be what you continue to believe. You know, I don't know what became of that young woman I knew years ago. I only know that I bore witness to moments of clarity and revelation, to her life-altering realization, her aha moments, that she no longer had to believe the voices of her past or even the nasty voices in her present. Even if that past or present happened two minutes ago, she no longer had to believe it. In that cozy office, cut off from the world, I saw truth begin to speak louder than the lies, and I saw her begin to lean in and listen. Just like her, I'm presenting you with this truth. It is your turn to decide what you believe. No one else, just you. Will you choose to continue believing lies? I hope not. Or will you choose to adopt a new belief, a belief in your divine necessity, a belief in your inherent value, a belief that you are deserving of a whole future in place of the trail of broken pieces behind you? Today, Dear one, you get to choose right now, even if you've never believed it before. You can speak and listen to the voice of truth that says, It's not too late to learn something new. It's not too late to grow. It's not too late to achieve your dream. It's not too late to dream new dreams. It's not too late to be fulfilled. It's not too late to make amends. It's not too late to love again. It's not too late to forgive yourself. It's not too late to be forgiven. It's not too late to believe you matter It's not too late to believe you are worthy. It's not too late to be loved. And it's certainly not too late to love yourself. You already showed up. That tells me all I need to know. You hear the whisper. It's not too late. Now, lean in, listen, and believe the voice of truth. Your life depends on it. Friends, if you've been encouraged by this episode, this interseason episode of Thriving Thoughts, I would be honored if you would share it with a friend, someone you know, who needs to hear this truth today, that it's not too late for them. Three quick announcements before we close out the show for today. One, season three of Thriving Thoughts launches in just three days, this coming Wednesday, August 5th. You guys, I'm launching the third season. Why August 5th? Well, that's the one-year anniversary. Happy birthday, Thriving Thoughts. One-year anniversary of Thriving Thoughts that started on August 5th of 
2019. I can't believe a year has already gone by. I'm so blessed to have each of you with me on this journey. Can you believe it's been a year? Number two, if you missed it, guys, my new book, Breakup Breakthroughs, is out right now, live on Amazon, available for you to purchase. There is also a Kindle version, and I've created a printable workbook with a bonus mini book inside of that workbook that is called When People Say Things That Hurt especially when you're going through something that you're grieving. Friends, pick up the paperback copy on amazon.com. The link is in the show notes. Pick up the Kindle version there as well. The paperback workbook is called Breakup Breakthroughs, your it'll take work book. Get it, ladies? or gentlemen, whoever's listening, yeah, it's going to take work. So I created that workbook again with the bonus mini book at the end. I'd love for you to check that out and give it a five-star review on Amazon because you guys are the most amazing supporters I've ever known. And finally, if you'd like to receive three thriving thoughts per week straight from me to your text messaging inbox on your cell phone, all you have to do is text the word THRIVE, T-H-R-I-V-E, to the number 540-369-2139. All right, my friends, I'll see you right here on Wednesday, an episode just with me to tell you all about how season three is shaping up to be a new, brand new, large and in charge season of thriving thoughts. Until then, my friends, remember to speak truth over the lies so you can thrive in any and every circumstance.